Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's session, we will see one of the important components that is YAN, yet another resource negotiator. So this is the important component in the Hadoop framework. So how to manage this YAN? So once we go to the Ambari, you will find at the dashboard level, you can say at the left side, the various services available and one of the services is YAN. So let's click on that. It requires restart, so we'll do the restart for now. Once the restart complete, then we'll go to the service action because service action, it is the important component. If you see here, which is like in the shade format, service action. And that service action will have the services like the start, store, refresh yarn capacity scheduler, restart all, restart node manager, then run service check, turn on maintenance mode, and the last one is download client configs. Along with that, the move app timeline server, move resource manager, enable resource manager HA, those will not be available for the yarn. So let's go and see those details. So if you see, I can see all the services, start, stop, refresh, on capacity, run, service stack, turn on the maintenance mode, etc. Now, along with that, there are some quick links also available for the YAN. If you see the quick links, resource manager UI, resource manager log, resource manager JMX. Currently, these links are not working, but in order to access those directly on the server you can use node 8080 and instead of cluster let me try just 8080 so this is the uh, UI now if you click on this link okay and let me show you the URL so UI will have like this which is not working currently uh, so instead of that you can use this which will give us the various idea about the resource manager resource manager logs and JMX By default, this is a cream at the left side. You will see it node node labels applications Which are what are the new applications are added to this? Hadoop new savings. What are these applications submitted? What are the accepted? What are the running applications? How many are finished how many are failed and how many killed? So if we click suppose running, so we can see there are none of the application is running. If you see the accepted, nothing is accepted for now. And these are the finished applications. You can see yarn, tails, map reader, etc. Along with that, it will also give the other properties, uh, containers running, memory use, total memory, etc. At the below there is a tool section inside tool we have the configuration local logs server stack server matrix errors and warning let's click one of that so if you select the configuration you will see the what is the configuration related to the yarn if you remember the configuration file for the yarn in my previous tutorial you will see there are particular yarn.sh and cmd files also there local logs if we click the local logs these are the yarn related local logs similarly we have the server stack to analyze the server how is functioning then we have the server matrix this is again the like the json and the errors or warnings if anything coming so if you want to see like out of memory or any other related errors will be listed here currently we have only warnings in this session section Let's go back and check some more interesting facts about the YARN. At the summary level, you will see the summary, whether what is the status of the server, it is uh, up or running. Then we have the matrix at the below section. There is various matrix available like cluster network, cluster CPU, cluster disk, memory utilization, CPU utilization, container failure, etc. You can refer this uh, or matrix to analyze the, what is the current condition. Now the next step in the YARN 
is nothing but the heat map actually heat map helps a lot to analyze the how is yarn is performing whether so green means it's a healthy healthy environment red means it's uh, it's in the uh, in wrong side or it's not in the appropriate or utilization is more so along with that if you want to see the particular matrix you can see that there is various matrix are available for the yarn such as node manager ram utilization node manager cp utilization node manager garbage collector time jvm heap use memory use all other matrices also available so definitely these are going to help to monitor the yarn and also check if something goes wrong how to fix that or uh, it will definitely drill, drill, uh, help us to drill down the issue. Now, if you click on this, uh, or if you hover over on this, uh, gray, uh, what are the current status? You will see what is the operating system name, what is IP address, what is the uh, rack, disk space, CPU, memory, and all other properties about this particular matrix. So current matrix is total allocated RAM utilization per node manager. That is what we are able to see. Now suppose uh, you go to the host tab. Okay, let me go to the host tab. And if you see the particular node, I'm clicking the node. And you will able to see the various host matrices. So the, here the heat maps are under the what are the heat maps we are able to see. Let's see these are the those are coming from the yarn actually. So this is also a section where actually the, uh, what are the matrices we are able to see these are coming with the help of the uh, yarn matrices because it's a resource negotiator which will help us to how to access the resources from the external clients or external systems. Now the next thing is we we can see the color code in the heat maps right let's go back and see the color code what does it mean i'm going to the yarn and click on the heat maps you can see 0 to 20 20 to 40 and similarly we have the 20 to 60 until 80 to 100 0 to 20 means healthy and then we have the green yellow red these are the associated with the each cluster maximum is 100 percent so these are the basic things about the yarn in the next session we will see the more details on the config session i hope uh, this will give you uh, at least overview about the yarn what are the properties available what are the service actions are available Thank you for watching the video. You can subscribe my channel for more interesting update about Hadoop. Thank you. Have a nice time.